Hey everybody, what is going on? So today we are going to show you another tool that we've just added to the zero to income toolbox. If you don't have that toolbox yet, it is a free toolbox. You can sign up for it in the description down below. So uh, what this tool does is it is a scrolling animation code snippet that you can add to your system.io website. Now, if you don't have system.io, maybe you have Wix, maybe you have Kajabi, uh, and you want to add this code to your site, this code will work with other website platforms as well. Uh, Kajabi already has something similar built in uh, that you can utilize, um, but if you're a system.io user, you don't have this built in, and uh, this little snippet will allow you to add that to system.io websites. Now, what exactly is scrolling animation. Let's pop over and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. So we're in our editor. Here's a page, uh, just a, a test page. Uh, I'm calling it my play page. All right. And if you look at it, it's there's nothing wrong with this page. It looks like your typical uh, website, you know, for all intents and purposes. Um, and there's really nothing wrong with this site. But if you have a client that's saying, hey, I'd like it to be a little bit more fancy, or maybe you'd like to have some more fanciness to your site, this is what scrolling animation is. So I'm going to refresh this. And uh, this is a preview. And then we'll scroll and see how that just kind of popped in. Now, the other thing that's kind of nice about this is there's lots of ways of doing scrolling animation. Um, but what I like about this is it's a very simple implementation. And it uh, is set up in such a way that the animation is not loading down below. So it knows that as the person scrolls to scroll that animation in, some of these different code snippets will, will load the stuff automatically. And so when they start scrolling, you know, like if they stop like right now and then they continue, that scrolling won't be there because they've already done it. They've already scrolled it. All right. So let me show you what I mean here. See, we were sitting there talking and it didn't scroll anything up and it wasn't it wasn't already scrolled up for us. So um, that's how this works. So if you wanted to add a little bit of uh, animation to your site, that's how you would do it. Now you all know me, if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm also a stickler about mobile. All right, so does this work on mobile? Let's check it out. Let's do a right click on the page. We're gonna do an inspect. I've already got it set to like a mobile screen. We're going to go ahead and just click on refresh. And you already saw a little bit of it right there. So let's kind of scroll down and boom. Notice again, if I stop, everything kind of stops. Going to scroll and boom. So it works on mobile. All right. So there you have it. That is the code for the scrolling animation. Now, if you don't want to sign up for the toolbox, uh, let's pop our toolbox over and I'll show you first of all how to uh, how to get this code and use it on your site. So if you do sign up for the toolbox, this is what you know, you'll get access to. And if you scroll all the way down, we have our code snippets areas. We have all these other different code snippets that have already been added to the toolbox. Uh, the latest one here is the scrolling animation. I'll have a video here that people can use to check it out and see exactly how to use it. They might not be watching this YouTube video, uh, but they might have access to it. So we'll have directions on how to use it here. Pop that down. And like all these other code snippets, you just click on copy code button. And right there, we have our copy code. We'll do an OK. And then we're going to go over to our editor. Now, this page already has it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my settings. That's where you want to put this code. Let's go all the way down, go into the header code, and this is where we have all of our other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in here right there. And this is the old code. And what you'll notice here, these are placeholders. Row ID 1, row ID 2. So what you need to do for your site is you need to go in to your site we're going to click on save and you need to scroll down, scroll through it and find each of your row IDs. So we're going to click into it. There's our section and there's a row. We're going to click on it. It's highlighted. We've shown right up here. It's, it's a row. We're going to go scroll all the way down. What we're going to do is we're going to grab the ID attribute for that first row. Copy it. 
you'll go to your settings. Okay, you're going to go back to that code in the header code. And in the first one, row ID, we'll do paste. And you'll do that with every row ID on your page. It takes a little bit of work, but if you want that little, you know, extra zing to your site, this is how you do it. All right, so we'll go and click back in. Uh, that's that row there. We'll scroll down. We're looking for the next row right there. Again, we're going to scroll down, get that row ID attribute. Click on copy, go back to settings. Once in settings, we'll go into our header code. And where it says row ID 2, again, these are just placeholders. Paste that in. Okay. Save. And you just go in there and you do that for each and every row. So that was one of the rows right there. Got another row right there. Same thing. Grab that row ID attribute. Go to settings, scroll all the way down, go to header code, go to the third one, paste that in, and save. Okay, save changes. So what I'm going to do here, for those that don't want to sign up for the toolbox, we're going to take all of this out. This was my original code. So it's only 30 lines of code at this point. You know, you might, yours might be more when you if you have more rows. All right. Um, but here, if you want to take a screenshot and grab that, that's what you'll need. So there's our first 28 roughly rows, right? The lines right there. There's your first 28 lines. And then there's the 29th and 30th line there. All right. So that, there you have it. Um, again, kind of nice to have. Uh, it's not the only way of adding scrolling animation to a website. It's just a way that I found to be the easiest to implement. Uh, it could be there. There could be better ways that'll load faster. Um, but I think for a lot of our sites that are just basic websites, I think that this is uh, a more than you know efficient. It's one that I'm going to be using uh, tool for your site. And there you have it. If you'd like to have access to this tool uh, rather than writing all the code yourself. Sign up for it down below. There will be a link for it where you can sign up for the Zero to Income Toolbox, which, just like any toolbox, you, it's having tools added to it on a regular basis. As new tools come up, it's like, hey, I'd like to have that. Let's add a tool to it. If any of you are watching this uh, and have ideas for tools that aren't in the toolbox, let me know. Dana and I can go and create the tool. We will. All right. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, everybody.